Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am doing a tutorial for my paper clip of the month for October. Now I know this is December. I actually did do this in October, but I'm just now getting around to doing the tutorial. So I want to show you what I used to make it, and that is this die set from Elizabeth Craft, and it is called the Phone Booth Special. I will show you all the dies that are in that set. And it's a lot. So I have used them to make a journal, and I will give you the link down below to show you the journal. There's all of these dies and all of these dies. So it's a lot. What we're going to need is this one, this one, this one, and the numbers, and hello. Now this makes pages so that you can put this actually in a journal or make it into a journal in itself. All right, so those are the dies we're going to need from the set, and I want to show you the layers that we're going to use. So using this, we're going to cut one out of white craft foam, that is the back, and then we have a three inch paper clip. Then we have the foam board from Dollar Tree that you can actually die cut. We have one of those. Then we cut two of those as well from the same foam board, but then we also use this die in the center to cut the centers out, and that is going to give us a nice hole to put our shaker bits. Um, this is the acetate. You'll notice when you die cut, most of the time on acetate, it leaves a good impression, but you're still going to have to hand cut around that. That will go next. Then we use this set here for the white paper and that way we have something to glue the uh, the numbers on. Then we have this. Now I want to say I am doing something different and I will explain that in a minute. And, and of course we need the numbers. So what I did was I put tape on the back, double-sided tape, and then did the numbers so that they will be stickers. What I want to say about this is after making this I realized the the issue with this design let me get a real phone out here to show you. This is, this is for those of you who have never used a rotary dial phone. This little piece does not stick out from the circle like this. It goes inward from this edge here. Because when you are doing this, this is what catches your finger. See? And so this, this is not going to do what it's supposed to do. So what, uh, what I did in this case, if you want to do it this way, I used two layers of the black cardstock to make this a little stronger. But what I'm going to do now is actually take this, cut it off, and put it where it needs to be. It goes right above the zero, as you can see right here, and it angles in there. Uh, what I did was I only cut one of the black this time, but then I took that die and I just cut three of the little pieces here and I'm going to glue those together and stick them where I want it. Actually, I could have used this one as one of them. Okay, so let's start at the base. I'm going to do this last, that foam piece and the paper clip. I'm going to start here and I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to use the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. And the reason um, I'm using Dollar Tree foam board is that it's so thin compared to what you're going to get at an office supply store. And therefore, it's easier to, to do die cutting. I have not tried die cutting on anything other than the Dollar Tree. Now, my friend who told me about die cutting with theirs, when she cuts it, um, the edges don't stay skinny. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you this. There. You can see how my edges stay pinched. Hers did not. Hers did not stay pinched when she did that. So I've been playing around seeing if I could do something to um, get these to unpinch, but they don't. So now this one looks a little thinner to me. I'm going to do another one. And it's also a possibility that my Dollar Tree has different foam board than hers. Eh, it's still pretty thin. So what happens when you run this through? I think the first time I ran it through several times, back and forth and back and forth, and I use the Big Shot, um, Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. You only need to run it through once. And that leaves me a nice little pocket 
to be able to put my shaker bits in there. If you want more depth, you can always add another one. That would make it really chunky. Now I'm gonna give this a little bit of anti-static. I have these um, shaker, the shaker mix from Queen and Company that's black and white. And here's what it looks like. Let's see, let's cut this out now. Okay, now what I want to do to stick the uh, acetate on there, I'm going to use some double-sided tape or in this case, I'm going to use some uh, red line tape really to get that adhered well. Now here's what I'm doing. I'm kind of folding it over on itself to go around. I always use tape or something similar on my uh, acetate here. Now, once we get that started, I'm holding this down so that I don't flip my sequins all over the place. There we go. Pick this up gently. And now we have this bumpy surface. So I'm just gonna smash that down. There we go. But that's how I get around the, the corners like that. Now I want to just use a few pieces just to get the outside area done. Okay, and we have that acetate. We're going to secure those sequins bits in there. And I did not get that on there straight, so I'm gonna trim off my extra acetate right now. The next bit is going to be this white, and that's going to go on there. So I can put more tape. This does not have to be a perfect seal because it's not keeping the shaker bits inside. So I don't have to be uh, perfect about going around like that. I can just put a few pieces here and there, peel all these off. Put that on there. Okay, now I am going to trim off this little bit right here. And I'm going to glue these together. Now, you have to turn it over though because it needs to be angled this way, right? So I'm going to put that right there and then trim off the excess. But leaving this on there right now gives me something to hold on to. And the reason that I have so many layers is it makes it thicker as though it is something that you're going to need sticking up from your gizmo, from your phone dial. Actually, I'm going to need that. I'm holding this in place while I'm trimming this off. And now this is going to get glued onto the white part here. And it doesn't matter which way. Okay, the next thing we want to do is this hello. So I cut uh, three of those out in cardstock, again, because I want them to have depth and I want them to be strong. You will see that they are going to get adhered right onto that acetate there, and that makes it a little tricky. Okay, so off camera now, I am going to adhere all three of these together. Okay, that is really awesome. I love that. So we also want to get the numbers on here. And you remember I had used this sticker thing here. I've done this before and hand glued them on, but this time I'm using the stickers. And on your phone, one is always the first one right here.
Now, you know that with this one, I put the hello right here, but you see that with this here, that kind of interferes with it. So it's going to have to go here, and it's even going to be over the numbers. So I'm looking at this. I'm going to hang it off a little bit this time like this, or even like that. There we go. And just these two L's there need a little support. So I'm going to use the... So let's get some other foam tape and cut it down how we need it. We need really skinny. Let's put one over here. And all I'm doing is just giving this a little lift because we're recessed down in there. Now, the next thing we need to do, I'm going to use a red Sharpie marker to get the edges. Oh, this is hot pink. Well, it's better than nothing. I'm going around the edges here so it won't be quite so noticeable that we have that foam. And let's get our tweezers out here. So again, that's going to go there. I need to add a little bit of glue to the other places here. And I know that the bottom of this is going to hang off of my project, so I'm not doing the very bottom of the letters. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, the only other thing we need to do now is to add the paper clip. So you know I use permanent adhesive when I am working with paper clips, and permanent does not mean hot glue gun. Hot glue is not a permanent fixture for your paper clip. So what I'm going to do is to make sure the double loops are at the bottom. This is a three inch paper clip. I'm just getting some adhesive here, right on there, some on top, and going around it here. I'm gonna turn it this way. Now I'm gonna hold that together for just a few minutes and while I'm doing that, we're gonna talk about the edges right here. So I wanted a nice smooth edge. So I had a paper scrap that just happened to be the perfect length or width. And I just cut that and glued it around there. So it is about a quarter of an inch or five sixteenths. And I just, like I said, I just used a scrap and I wrapped it around there to get coverage. So what I'm going to do, because it really is hard to measure that, I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. So now I know where to trim that. Let's see if that's wide enough. That will do it. So I'm going to start here and wrap it all the way around to the other side. And this will get me started. And then I'll add more glue as needed. And I'm going to have to hold that in place. Let's get this trimmed right there. And then you can see on my other one, what I did was I just put a smaller piece right in here above the paper clip. So I will trim this one down. You could also gently put a rubber band, rubber band across here if it's not too tight and that would hold it in place for you. Okay, I'm going to trim this one down. And that is it. Make sure you look at the links underneath this video. I'm going to give you a link to our group on Facebook. And that group is the Paperclip Art Group. We do require that you've been on Facebook at least a year, and we do have a monthly theme. You can post paperclip pictures anytime, but we also have a monthly theme to inspire you with some ideas. And uh, if you complete the theme, then you can also go through and do a swap every six months. So this is the difference between, the, between them. This was a darker red. Uh, this doesn't have the little, I don't know what you call that. It's not sticking out. It's in here where it needs to be. And there they are. Both very fun variations on a theme. Thank you for watching, everyone.